How to knit the single cable twist button band, English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Spot, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Bare Naked Wools line in the color Earl Grey. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques knit, purl, cable six front. Now, this button band is worked by picking up the stitches along the edge of your finished fabric. So just a couple of quick tips for you. One, you want to make sure that you are picking up your stitches by getting three stitches for every four along your edge. Um, the other is that you'll need to pick up the stitches in uh, what will equal multiples of eight and then you'll have an additional two stitches you need to pick up at the very end. So however many stitches you pick up, make sure that they can be divided by eight and then have an additional two as well. So if you need to pick up more than uh, three for every four stitches at some point, that's fine. You just want to equal that many stitches to begin with. And if you don't know how to pick up the stitches, we're just going into the side of the stitch here. Right, you can see the stitch right there. And I'm drawing the yarn over the needle like this, coming from the bottom over the top. That's going to make sure that the stitch is situated properly on the needle with the front leg here all ready to go. Okay, so. We'll pick up our stitches and then get ready to knit our button band. For row one, we're going to be on the wrong side of our fabric. And we will begin by doing a knit two. Then we're going to purl six. And we'll continue repeating the knit two and purl six until we reach the last two stitches in our row. And when we get to the last two stitches in our row, we're going to knit two. Row two, we're going to begin by purling two. Then we'll knit six. Then we're going to bind off two. So we're binding off these purl stitches here. We're going to purl two. We'll pass the second stitch over the first. We'll knit the next stitch and pass the second stitch over the first. Then we'll finish up by knitting five. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way to the last two stitches in our row. Row three, we're going to begin by knitting two. Then we're going to purl six. Now we're going to cast on two stitches. And there's a lot of ways to do this, but I find the best way is to do a knitted cast on or a cable cast on. So I'm going to do a cable cast on here. We're going to insert our needle between these first two stitches. And then I'm going to yarn over and draw some yarn through and then place that yarn on our main needle. And then I'm going to do that again. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I turned my work back to the front side, our right side of our work in order to do this. And we're only going to cast on two additional stitches. Okay, then we'll turn our work back. And we'll continue in our pattern. Here we'll be purling six. So 
So we're going to repeat this sequence here until we reach the last two stitches in our row. All right, when we get to the last two stitches in our row, we will knit two. Row four, we're going to begin by purling two. Then we're going to do a cable six front or cable six forward. So we'll slip the first three stitches off of our main needle onto our cable needle here. And we're going to hold this cable needle in front. Then we're going to knit the next three stitches from our main needle. And then we will knit the three stitches from our cable needle. Okay, and then we will put those that cable needle off to the side, and we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the last two stitches in our row. And when we reach the last two stitches in our row, we will purl two to finish the row. Row five, we're going to begin by knitting two. Then we are going to purl six. Okay, that should be two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to repeat the knit two and purl six until the end of the row. And when we reach the last two stitches in our row, we'll finish by knitting two. So to finish off our button band, we're just going to bind off all of our stitches. And that'll give us a nice finished edge. And that's how we knit the single cable twist button band. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.